trying to tell just a little bit. I'm a little over today. Because at and we're going to fight. I'm going to personally fight you. Okay? Yeah, I'm currently with at and and... I ain't gonna talk too much about them because they not sponsoring this video. But they need to get their stuff, they need to get their life together. Their company, something together. Because my whole AT&T account is messed up. But that's neither here nor there. Actually, no, it's, it's, it's here because I'm paying for it. But let's get on the topic of this video. So, y'all know usually when, well, not usually because I only posted one video. Well, I posted two videos of me doing reviews, but I wanted to be consistent about the reviews. So I was supposed to, you know, on the devices that I'm interested in, um, you know, get it and, you know, do a review on it. Last review, well, my first review, which was the XS Max, it made over 26,000 views. I want to thank you all for watching that video. Um, it really, like, you know, like, touched me deep, deep inside my heart because I ain't never had that many views before. So... You know, let's keep it going with the reviews. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe because why not? And yeah, let's get started. So, um, when they see today, and um, <clears throat> finally decided to get the 2018 model of the iPad Pro, uh, 12.9 inch. We're gonna see if it's worth, if it's still worth buying in 2019. Um, the reason why I got it, because not only did I want it anyway, but um, I was waiting because I thought the newer, the iPads that were supposed to come out this year, I thought the camera was gonna be like the iPhone 11 Pro camera or a little similar. So I was just gonna wait till the newest iPad came out and I was just gonna get that one. But I don't think they're launching that until next year and I'm not finna wait until next year to get an iPad. Yeah, I know I had one before, but I gave that one away. So, this is my new toy, as you can see. It's cute. iPad Pro. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna unbox this. Look at some stuff. I know I got stuff in my background. I'm currently trying to multitask here, actually, at the same time. So, I can actually do that later. Um. So, yeah, on the iPad, we're going to do a, a little review. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's get started. Okay, so what I have here is the iPad Pro 2018, 12.9 inch, you know, the bigger the better. Y'all know I like big things. Um, <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's get to unboxing or whatever. I feel like it'll be somewhat satisfying if they had like the little paper to unwrap it the same as like the iPhone paper when you get the new box. This is literally just like so I ain't wrap it. You just like literally put off. I don't, I don't like that. Y'all need to fix that Apple. Okay, we like the the satisfaction of the iPhone unboxings. Okay, so as y'all can see, this is the cover. iPad Pro is cute. I just got the base model, 64 gigabyte. I'm mostly just gonna be using it for school purposes because I'm like two weeks behind. Um, let's not even go there. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna open it now. So y'all yeah, can see. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna open it. If I can get it. It shouldn't be this complicated to get a product in which I purchased. There we go. Boom. That's not going to stay. So, that's not going to stay either. Okay. So, we have the iPad. Um, wrapped up or whatever. It's cute. So, before we, you know, get into this. See what it comes with. Designed by Apple in California, of course. See what you get. Nothing, you know, major, of course. iPad Pro shows you how to start it up, how to use it with the gestures and things and things. SIM card tray opener, because I have the one with the cellular. So I can.
can, you know, use it on the go without having to hack people's Wi-Fi just to get it. I'm just playing not hack, but, you know, ask for people's Wi-Fi. You know how people get with their Wi-Fi. So I just added it to my AT&T bill and got some Apple stickers. You know, I'm probably going to put these on my vehicle because the Apple sticker that I put on my car, it kind of like, it's, it's fading off and I highly dislike it. It's not cute at all. So I will be replacing that with one of these new ones. Just going to tuck these back in here. Cool beans. Oh, I forgot, y'all. The new iPad got the little USB-C. Okay, so you got your USB-C to USB-C with the USB-C adapter. I love it. I will be... I probably won't be using that because I want that little Logitech little wireless charger where you just sit it down. I think it's like 80 bucks, 60. I'm probably going to get that. I'm all about the wireless. The wireless. So we're going to sit the box right there. And now we're going to take this little plastic. See, look. See, this is how they should have the box on the iPad when you're taking the little saran wrap after the box. Like, like this. Like, like, this is so much better. It ain't ripping and stuff. It's, like, properly coming off. Like, this is so much better. I would prefer that method. But we all can't get for what we asked for, I guess. This thing is huge. I got the space gray. Why does it look like mine's already got a little... A little scratch on it. Mm -mm. We don't have to take this back. We're repackaging this. Hold on. But now, for real, it's like a little. I don't know. Anyway, it's not have case on it anyway. Um, this is huge. Like selfie. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. Like this, this thing is huge. So okay, so you have your. That camera, of course, with the little flash. You know what? I never knew they had a flashlight on this. Why would you need a flashlight on it? Who finna be, like, trying to look for something? That's what I'm trying to figure out. But, okay, it's cool. Got your little... Your three-prong wireless connector. Apple logo. It's cute. I like... I like... See, I can get space great in, in iPads, but I can't get it on my phone. Cause I started the first, the only space gray iPhone I had was the 5S that I had, and it was cute. But I would prefer silver. This is my Max. That's my current phone. Um, I will be getting the 11 Pro and doing a review on that as well. But that may be a little late because AT and T messed up my account, as I said earlier. But like I said, let's not even go there. Okay. So you have uh, with the newest, you know, iPad Pro, you have four speakers, two at the top, two at the bottom. You have your antenna bands, one at the bottom, one at the top, two on the left, and two on the right. So all of your cellular, you know, data connections can be available. You have your uh, volume up and down knobs right here, as well as with the power at the top. I see two microphones at the top, and there's my USB-C connector. Um, and the SIM card tray is right here. Um, hopefully my AT&T SIM card is already in here because he showed the give me one. So, we're going to power on the device. Boom. There's that Apple logo. Oh, this will be a nice little, nice little, nice little, little school device until I'm done with school, you know. I'm finna go ahead and start shopping on Amazon. Ooh, y'all, look at that. This is huge, y'all. Like, I feel like it's, I mean, it don't feel like it's real easy to drop without a case. It has somewhat of a grip to it, just somewhat, but it's still droppable. So make sure you protect your devices as, as much as possible, okay? So, you know, it takes you to all the little greetings. Languages screen, as always. Swipe up. English, because that's the only language I'm aware of. United States, because, you know, we in the United of the States. And then, you know, you can just connect your, unlock your phone. 
So it'll ask you if you want to set up your iPad. Of course, I'm going to do that because it's the quickest way. I'm going to set it up as a new iPad anyway, but this is, you know, just a setup process. So just setting that up, getting my iCloud, um, you know, set up and things of that nature, putting my pass. Y'all, this keyboard, y'all. How is this going to work? Okay, my fingers can still stretch. It's a it's a nice thumb ratio when you type it on the keyboard like this, but of course like this you're gonna be kind of struggling. But I will be getting that Apple um, keyboard as well because like I said I'm gonna be using it for school purposes. So this will be nice. This will be nice. So now it's just setting up my iPad, adding my iCloud and stuff on here. Of course, I'm going to set it up as a new iPad. Cause I, I always like to set up my new devices as new devices. I don't like to transfer stuff over. The only thing you need to be transferring over is my contacts. Sometimes my messages, it depends. Sometimes my messages, I really don't be caring, caring about my messages because I screenshot them anyway if I need any, you know, receipts. And that's on period. Oh, y'all finna set up my little face ID on the iPad. Okay, I'm finna set it up or whatever. If it'll look stupid for a good limit. I feel like everybody looks stupid when they set up it when they set up their little face ID. Cause you gotta do the whole head rotations. See, a lot of people don't know that. All you gotta do is really do that. They be all like around the world. And I'm just like, girl, just just rotate. Just rotate. Boom. I'm done. My face ID is now complete. I'll click on continue, set it up Apple ID. I already have a 60% charge, so that's good. Y'all, this thing is huge. Like, I feel like I'm holding a book, to be honest, like a a real flat book. Like turn to page one, hit it ass, like for real. Y'all, I may need to return this iPad for real, cause I see just some tiny imperfections and I don't like it, but okay. We're gonna set up as a new iPad, as I said before. So I'm just gonna I don't know if y'all can see this or not. Hopefully y'all can because I'm going to look real stupid in this video if y'all can't see the process that I'm doing. I'm going to feel real slow. But y'all get it. Um, it has lots of features. I am really looking forward to iPad OS because this is... iPad OS is really going to bring out, especially the newer iPads. I feel like they the iPad OS is much needed on the newer iPads because you can actually do you know, more than what you need to do on an iPhone. Like, why just have a bigger iPhone? You get what I'm saying? iPad needs its own OS. It's like, watch has its own OS. And, you know, iPhone has its own operating system. So now, you know, iPad OS is going to be released, I think, um, on September 20th, if I'm not mistaken, on, like, uh, iOS 13. So, iOS 13, iPad, iOS 13. Um, same thing. I'm not going to be using Apple Pay on no iPad, so there's no point in setting it up. I'll set up my Hey Siri later. Or whatever. Skipping all these. Continue, continue, continue. Welcome to iPad. Boom. So my iPad is set up. When I tell you y'all this is huge, the refresh rate is amazing. Like there's no type of lag in, in, in the screen at all. Um, y'all, this is huge. Okay, why they say no SIM card installed? Yeah, I think you forgot to give me a SIM card. Hold on. Where my little SIM card tray open? Cause I asked him, I was like, you don't, um, I was like, I can't activate it myself. But, wasn't you supposed to give me a SIM card? Yeah, I'm so done with AT&T. They didn't give me a SIM card. So, I gotta go back up there so he can give me a SIM card. But, um, probably not gonna do that right now. Well, I gotta go up there today, cause when I tell y'all, AT&T is getting on my nerves. Anyway. So, now I gotta go back at and I gotta give me a SIM card. Okay, anyway. So, um, it works, you know, the same way like a, um, XS Max, pull down, gives you your control center, uh, pull on the other side, your notifications. Of course, I ain't got no notifications because I just set it up. Um, um, 
Okay, so I don't have a SIM card installed, but I just got two text messages. And I got bars. Oh. Y'all, it's activated. It's, is it an e? Do these iPads have e -sims? Hold on, let me find out. About y'all, I don't know what's going on. Hey, it wasn't no SIM card in here, and my iPad got cellular data. This thing says LTE. I'm gonna go on Google to make sure to disconnect from work. Y'all, I got cellular data. They ain't got no, no SIM card in here. Okay. So I guess these things got eSIMs because y'all literally just saw me take the SIM card out. I mean, SIM card tray out. And there's no SIM card. There's no SIM card in there at all. There's no physical SIM card, at least. Okay. So yeah, y'all, uh, I'm going to test the sound quality real quick because y'all know I got to test my sound quality. Hold on. Let me go to my music. I call music library. But is the 2018 iPad Pro still worth it in 2019? I would definitely say yes, because as I said before, iPad OS is really going to give the give the features and benefits of this device. It's really going to be enhanced, like it's supposed to be. Um, I can really see myself, uh, you know, using this every day, literally every day. Like, not only am I going to start on my homework after this video, but where the games at? <laughs> you know, like. I don't even play my Xbox no more. Like, that's just how bad it is. Where the games on the iPad at? That's what I'm looking for. Mm hmm You know? But it's going to have to take me some time to get used to. Because on my phone, you know, all I got to do is swipe a little bit. And I'll be good. And, you know, I can reach my apps. But I got to slide this, like, all the way up. Oh, I just clicked on something. Hold on. I got to slide, like, all the way up just to, you know, reach the apps or whatever. But this is real cute. I can... I can do this. It's real cute. I'm gonna play a song real quick. See how loud these speakers really are. Okay. in my hand like the little doo -doo -doo. like this little thing here let me find out okay I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want no copyright strike or whatever but um y'all this is the end of my video like i said i know i haven't posted in a while and this is probably i feel like this video was kind of lame i ain't gonna lie to you but as y'all can see i'm in a different environment i just uh purchased me a house not purchased but i finally got me my own place to stay or whatever so um currently i'm in my room i gotta set up my youtube room um, and my YouTube room not set up right now, so that's why I'm recording in here right now. Hopefully, by the time I do my, um, the iPhone 11 Pro review, I'll be in my YouTube room. But if not, we can make it work. Um, as I said before, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if y'all want me to keep doing reviews. I know y'all do, so, period. Um, um, yeah, that was fun. I'm gonna have fun with this device.